I don't care which printer you have, Bamboo Lab, Reality or something else, just look at this. This is a cheap printer and check this out. So if you want to have something like this, you should follow these steps, no matter if your printer is new or if you already have it sometime but you don't have a first few layers like this, you're doing something wrong. Step one, the obvious things. You need to check everything on your 3D printer regarding uh, tightening the screws, uh, if your printer is having eccentric screws on any of the axes, you you need to uh, check that and straighten. In this case, with Creality with 3 k uh, you have rods, you don't have wheels which are uh, tightened with uh, eccentric screws, so you don't uh, have those problems. So after you checked all the parts which potentially can be tightened or, or uh, or secured by screws or something like that you want to check the nozzle with a pen you want to check if the nozzle is straight so from this side it is uh, quite a good as far as uh, as far i can see also you want to check from this side it is also good and you also want to see if the print head is parallel with this rail here in my case it is uh, at least as far as I can see, well adjusted. Next, you want to check if your bed is really physically uh, uh, correct with uh, a ruler like this. You don't want to have a belly on any spot. And as you can see, uh, by doing this, you can probably uh, see that uh, my bed is uh, really good. If you have a warped bed, the only solution sadly is to replace it, so you should contact your manufacturer. But by doing this you can uh, easily uh, find one of possible problems why you don't have a good first layer, because if the warping is uh, too big, bed leveling mesh cannot compensate successfully uh, during the print. After checking the bed, the next step is to check the square of your printer. Every of these steps is quite important, and this one also. So you need a ruler like this. You can check the angle with it. So uh, in this case with Creality with 3 ke uh, you should check the, the printing area square uh, looking from the bed. And this is a proven, trust me on that, some people will tell you uh, that is not the case, that you should check the square looking uh, from the printer uh, assembly base, but that is not the case. There are two steps to check. The first one is like this. By looking at this bottom line, you shouldn't be able to see uh, the wall. Also, uh, by looking at this top line, you shouldn't be able to see the wall between the ruler and the uh, gun tray. For this step, you will find on the internet that they they say you need to check the square from the base, but that is not correct. You need to, to check the square from the bed looking to the gantry. So you want to align the ruler to touch the bed and the gantry. And uh, you probably you put the fingers on the back so you want the edge of the ruler to touch the gantry. Here it is. It is ne nearly perfect. There is a slab. There is a bit of disalignment on the top, but nothing major. At this point, we managed to go through nearly all potential hardware problems which can cause the print errors. I assume at this point that you checked everything, belts, wheels, eccentric nuts, so everything. These additional steps are some advanced steps and uh, if you pass them, you are hardware ready to go further. So let's go, turn on your printer. In the case of the Creality V3K, we have automatic Z offset and auto leveling. Let's do first uh, auto leveling. Uh, I want to show you that my bed isn't perfect uh, 
even if it looks like that. So let's do it. At this point, I want to show you one trick. Let's do, we are doing auto leveling uh, with the call bed. So let's see uh, the results. The top left part uh, has the most deviation, but uh, let's check out something. Let's say I put the bed temperature to 75 degree. Uh, wait for the printer to heat up. Uh, the 75 degree is the temperature on which I'm printing a PETG. So let's see the auto bed leveling difference at this point. We are nearly at 75 degree. You will get advised to wait for the bed to soak the temperature, but really you don't need to do that. At least you see my first layer, so trust me on that. Go in the equip equipment self test and repeat the auto leveling. You can get back the video and see how much the numbers has changed. And this is the mesh with who you want to, to print. So we're gonna save it. And at this point we resolve that. My Z offset is perfect, so I don't need to, to redo, redo it, but I'm gonna tell you that if you are at this point, you should do it. And at next step, we I'm gonna show you how to adjust it to the perfection because just doing automatic Z offset is uh, not enough for perfect first layer. As I touch the bed a lot, uh, use 100% alcohol, a cotton cloth and brush everything like this. You're gonna thank me later a lot. Start print again and don't do a calibration. At this point, I'm again having a perfect first layer, but you probably don't. You want to go to this second option and at adjust you have option the Z axis compensation. You have minus and plus. The plus is rising the nozzle up, or better to say it is rising the Z axis, which is going up, and the minus is lowering the nozzle or Z axis to the bottom. I know that many will say that there are few more things which you can check. And there are always, it is that kind of the hobby. The 3D printers are complex devices, there is a lot of things to go wrong, but these are es essential things which you need to check so you can get the perfect prints. And you can see these uh, PETG prints of mine, they are for 200 euros device, which is the Creality P3KE, for me they are perfect. and. Uh, just look of these this just look of this ironing of the top part and again it is a pet g i hope you enjoyed watching consider subscribing see ya